And that district has already made up its mind for this coming school year, saying earlier this week it will not require anyone to wear a mask inside school. And some parents are not happy with that decision. KSHB 41 News reporter Sarah Plake explains why. Well, it's a group of parents, and they believe that the district made this decision too soon, given the recent uptick in cases. We talked to one family whose daughter is immunocompromised, and they're urging the district to take a different approach. I try and be within 70 to 180. This 10-year-old has a lot of responsibility, constantly managing her blood sugar. And then you put one of these test strips. Here, I'll show you. These things right in there. And then this is a... Poker. Her diagnosis came unexpectedly last year after a scary trip to the ER. We're not saying her name to respect her parents' wishes for privacy. But we still work as a team every single day to make tons of decisions to keep her safe. And I'm just asking people to help her out too. Her mother, Jeannie, says the Blue Valley School District's decision not to require universal mask wearing for the coming school year is troubling, considering COVID cases are flaring. The school board discussed it on Monday. Masks will uh, continue to be highly encouraged in our schools and our other district facilities uh, for those individuals uh, who have not been fully vaccinated. Obviously still kids don't get as sick or, you know, potentially die from this as adults do, but it's still scary, and especially for a parent like us who has a kid with medical needs, we don't know what this might do to her. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends universal masking in schools for kids over two years old, and kids under 12 can't get the vaccine yet, but she says she'd get it if she could. I just haven't really seen all of my friends in person, and I know there's like so many people in my school that I love to hang out with, and we don't get to see them that often. The school district staff is off on Fridays and was not available to speak with us, but officials say they'd continue enhanced cleaning practices, hand sanitizer, improved HVAC systems, and limited hand contact. Sarah Plake, KSHB 41 News.